welcome back to another episode of Tattered Stitch Embroideries. Today we're going to go over how to create this adorable little clothespin magnet. Alright, so the materials that we're going to use for this project are two pieces of felt that are roughly four and a quarter by four and a quarter, a clothespin, a magnet, and then another piece of felt for what I call the pocket and or sleeve, and that is roughly two and a half inches by two inches. I have tearaway stabilizer hooped and I'm going to start with my placement stitch for the pattern. Okay, so I've layered my felt over my placement stitch and now I'm just going to run my tack down. So now I'm going to start working on the details of the pattern, but I also wanted to make note that the tack down stitch that I use, the thread color, is actually going to match the thread color that I use for my zigzag stitch, which would be my final stitch out. So you just want to be mindful of the tack down stitching um, being the same thread color because at the end of the project, this stitching may end up showing through because I'm using a zigzag stitch versus satin stitch. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to embroider out the leaves and the stem of the pumpkin and the rest of the pattern. Now that a pumpkin is embroidered, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to lay down the back panel and I'm going to tape it into place and we're going to run our tack down for this. And we do the back in two different stages, one for the actual panel tack down and then one for the sleeve slash pocket. Just checking my overlap here to make sure that I've got plenty. As you can see, our back panel tack down is complete. So for the pocket, which the clothespin is going to slip into, I'm going to lay my second little panel of felt down, tape it into place, and then run another tack down stitch. With my tack down in place for my pocket, I'm going to take away the blue tape and I think what I'm going to do is just trim a little bit of this excess fabric away down here at the base. If you want a little bit more of a deeper pocket, you don't need to trim it, but I'm just going to do that to make it neat and clean. Now we're ready to run our final zigzag stitch, which I'm going to go ahead and do. All right, now that we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and tear away the stabilizer, and then I'm gonna trim away all the excess fabric, and we'll be ready for the clothespin and the magnet. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so now that it's complete, isn't it pretty? We're gonna head and flip it over and I just wanna show you that the clothespin would insert right here and you would glue it down with a little bit of glue and then you would place your magnet right about here, glue it down and you're done with your clothespin magnet. So thanks so much for stopping by today and watching our latest video release.